Good afternoon. It's Grandma here, and I thought I would share some of my diamond paintings in waiting, <laughs> I guess you call it. I went looking for my stash to see if I could find um, something to do with love in February. <laughs> anyway, what do you think I found? A cuteness overload. And uh, I think I've got about, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think there are eight all together. And I've done one of them, which you've seen in a previous video with the cat and the sitting in the basket with the sewing. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to say before I begin, thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so glad you joined. And if you like this video, please consider pressing the like and subscribing if you haven't already and why not <laughs> I do something different you know and uh, try and keep it interesting so I don't do a lot of unboxing because I'm not really sponsored by anyone so this is my own opinion and my own stash and things that I've acquired over the last few years quite a few years actually <laughs> considering my cross stitching and everything else so I'm getting to the point where I had to buy a storage cover for put my stuff in this year. So this is what I picked for Ems's Diamond Painting with Friends Challenge for February. So it might change, but I don't know. I thought the colors would fit right in. And who doesn't love uh, little baby critters? Really cute. Keep this overload and in a teacup. <laughs> And these are all uh, 30 by 30. And I got, yeah, 30 by 30. So they don't take that long to do. It's a bit color blocking, but I love the colors in this one. And I thought they suited Valentine's Day and the roses and a cute little kitty in a cup sleeping, I think. Yeah. So. Look at the beads that come with, I think this is the right one. I picked them up because I'm sure you don't want to hear rattling beads. Uh, let's see. JKO20. Yep, this one. And look, look at all the greens in this one. And it's still snowing outside and it's getting darker and uh, later in the afternoon. But do the best you can with the filming. And... And the, the, the beads are all just so pretty. And there's the pink colors. And uh, the beads are nice and shiny and they look really good. And I got these from Amazon in a pack of eight. I think there was eight. So, yeah, I'm trying to get my mojo back. I'll start doing something small. <laughs> I think I did a couple of big ones last year and it kind of threw me off a loop. So that's that one, Kitty and Teacup, and look at the color in that cool, and the drill feels really clear, and there's some um, 24 colors in this little tiny little thing, so that's pretty good, and they're both sides too, which I like because I have a tendency to work in the bottom. And then I flip it around and I go the other way with maybe, you know, the edges in between. And then I fill in the middle and I get rid of these plasticky things. So I don't really need cover reminders there. <laughs> you know, only if I, they sit unfinished for a while. Yeah. So that's number one. And this one is cuteness overload. Who doesn't like kitties? Now, I'm not sure what she's sitting in. A handbag or something. Or a basket, maybe. And she's got a little coin purse down there. And look at her eyes. I think they're going to turn out okay. Yeah, I'm always hesitant about the eyes turning out when they're this small. But the detail seems to be... You know, as long as there's not a lot of busyness and you get too many colors and then it spoils it too, see. But there's a lot of pink in there. And that one has 24 colors. I think they all do. 
And I think that's the beads for this one is uh, JK024. Yeah, 024, that one. 024, yep. Yeah, I've had this for a while. Oh, you can tell it's everything is stuck. <laughs> so that's that one. That's number two. Not that I'm going to get all these done. But yeah, they don't need flattening. They've been sitting next to just a little bit of plastic. It kind of, you know, it straightens out better when it gets work. And perfect for Valentine's Day. A little puppy. <laughs> yeah, me cute. Yeah. <laughs> Time to get this up a little bit higher. Too close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, same number of colors of thread. Thread, what am I saying? Um, yeah. And it's um, just uh, the glues. And uh, put into life. Colors in there actually. That green is nice. This green and the pink together. So there he is. Cupcake time! <laughs> and uh, that's that one. That was an owl I found in the middle of it. It doesn't go, but I thought I'd give it a whirl maybe <laughs> at some point. It's not in the same set, it's in a different set. <clears throat> and another one. Now, I'm not sure if this is a cat or exactly what it is. It looks like maybe a mouse. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's got a funny nose. There's no smaller. Where's the eye thing? <laughs> the same problem. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's our hedgehog? I don't know. Maybe it'll show up better when I get it done. But I just like the background is kind of nice because it's got different colors in the background and the green teacup with the cookies. <laughs> A thing going here, right? It's party time. So that's that one. And same beads, lots of green. Oh, lots of green in there. And the pink. And the brown. Oh, I have to run and hold this up. Uh, what are we at now? Number five. Okay, yeah. Last but not least. Sorry about the glare. I don't know if I hold this some way, other way, but no, I'm still gonna get glare. The time of day. Yeah. Sorry about that. Isn't he cute? In a pot with the blossoms and a shovel and a <laughs> cute little doggy. Cute little doggy. And I like a plaid background, sort of plaidish background. Green for St. Patrick's Day. But, I mean, I have three more to go, believe it or not. <clears throat> and then have another little ham dog. I get ham dog. <laughs> Isn't he cute? With cookies in a basket. Cookies in a basket. Yeah, so I thought it was time to get going on some of my smaller things. I have a few small things that so should not take that long to do, right? <laughs> Theoretically. So that's that one. I, I'm not fussy for a lot of pink. I'll try and get in the middle. I have four. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of pink in there. I can't see for the top part of it. I not so much on the back. Yeah, there's a fair bit. Two shades of pink. Yeah, I don't want to take them out because it just and make some mess. <laughs> then, for Halloween, we have, or I'm not sure, Halloween. <laughs> Two, huh? Oh, gee, 
papers. I'll get this one up a bit. Maybe that'll help. to make them when we were kids so anybody remember making toffee apples yeah a lot start now i don't know <laughs> maybe not down south but i haven't made any toffee apples lately not good for your teeth i don't think <laughs> and all the different colors yeah so cute all these puppy dots <laughs> the eyes yeah the stick is good on all of them, of course. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good stick. And last but not least, I think there's four cats and four dogs. No, maybe not. Hang on. One more. Little doggy with candy. <laughs> Cuteness overload. made me smile. Look at his little paws. <laughs> oh my. And these are my favorite candies. Actually, I got a whole box of these for Christmas from my kids. <laughs> yeah, my dad used to love them. I used to get my dad poster and, and, yeah, and the colors are just phenomenal. Like, they're just amazing. Hard to know which one to do first. <laughs> so I will bring them all back. Hang on. Oh, wait. I will bring them all back. Mostly dogs, I think. Like, look at it. Oh, I've done one cat already. Oops, hang on. I'm falling on the floor here. Oh, there's a lot here. Jeez. I'm going to be busy for a while. Like, trying to do <laughs> Yeah, it was a good deal. I think it was like 25 bucks for I don't know how many. Let's just count them all. First. One. Two. Maybe it's a Persian cat. I don't know. It's got a weird shaped nose. Two. That's my owl that I kind of got in there by the state. And that's doggy. Three. That's a doggy. And that's a doggy. Dog. I think they're about more even. Three. Because I already did one of the cats. I already did one of the cat ones. So there's three cats left to do. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess there was nine. Thank God there was nine. <laughs> anyway, maybe I lost one. <gasps> no, this is from a different company, and I, yeah, it's a different. But he's pretty cute too, eh? That speaks of love. <laughs> Little mama baby. So if you're looking for ideas, don't forget your <laughs> little puppies and cats and things. Yeah. Just really, oh, you can't really see. Well, you have to look thumbnails, I guess. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's funny. I think four. I, kind of, I don't know which one I like the best. I really like this one. And, and this little puppy with the candies. And the other cat one. Where is she? And the sleepy in the teacup. <laughs> I think I might do this one first and then try and do dog in it. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I wonder if these would fit in an eight, you know, one of those eight by ten scrapbook folders so that you don't have to keep buying 
those frames all the time because I don't really want to frame these all. I just need another. If they have smaller books to store them in because I like them. They fit under my bed and they don't take up a lot of room. So, yeah. So which one should I do first? The puppy or the cat? The puppy or the cat? Or both. Thanks for watching. Please, please uh, like, share, hit the button and all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully by the time I start this, the snow will be gone. <laughs> gone, gone, gone. Bye-bye for now. God bless y'all and have a great rest of the afternoon.